So we're inside pulling out this unit and we will pull it all the way out. All, we'll cut everything out to right about there. So the condenser is right on the other side of that wall. Literally right through that wall. I'm going outside and I will show you what it looks like. We're outside. Joe is setting up the recovery system. He's about to pull the refrigerant out of this Gibson. And here, this is how much damage they did to the yard drilling the wells. They literally just got done. So that's about it for um, how bad they needed to tear up the ground. Really isn't bad. Not for what they did. Uh, they still have to bring those lines in the house, but they do a pretty good job. So, now what we'll do here, and, and the well company did this too, but what we will do is off of, we'll draw up on the drawings of the house, we will take two points of measurements from different places of the house to each well, so we know exactly where the well is. Uh, we'll do that with both of them. So uh, if we ever need to know where the wells are, we will have a drawing. I don't know if you all saw a couple weeks ago, I did a picture. A bunch of stink bugs in it. This is that system. This is that system. Okay, so we are ducting in the system. Got a nice four inch wide, and then it also has a one inch wide next to it filter media. We're gonna put a return down low. Um, that was part of the reason why the last unit's compressor went bad was because they eliminated the basement return. So over here, we're gonna put some wood up. It's Kindorf on the unit. Mount a piece of plywood, mount that disc in that can, mount the flow center right there. We'll just pipe it all in. So, get back to work. All right, so we're just about done for the day. We need to come back and um, wire it up we need to wait for the loop people we'll come back we'll insulate all of this strap it up got to do the d superheaters we'll pipe them into that water system got to do the low voltage high voltage we'll mount another disconnect can right here um, that top can is for the electric heaters so there you go Okay, so the well people brought the pipes into the house where the old condenser was and they ran the loops in. As you can see, this is where they used to be and they are no longer. So, yeah, did a really good job. Didn't tear up the yard. So I'll go ahead and show you inside. We're just about done. Show you what we did. Anytime someone gets a real nice system, 
we like to put a real nice thermostat on here. So I've only installed a couple of these, but I seem to have good luck with them. Customers seem to love them. Alright, downstairs. So that's what the system looks like. I have my A tool on there. I was just going through all of the um, checkouts. Um, so I have the D superheaters hooked up. That is what uh, this pipe is. And this pipe comes up. I ran it behind that pipe pump and in and then down low. Just ran it over around and in. Um, this is actually a bleeder. I have a cap on the end. And it, that's actually a shark bite cap. And then just a little bleeder. This also has actually it has a bleeder on the side. Uh, you just wrap them de superheater lines so you don't lose any heat before it goes into the water heater. Um, we decided not to put our disconnect can there and put it there. The, the wire wasn't long enough. And if you look over there, right where them wooden cabinet the panels are, that is where the breaker panel is. So we decided not to rerun the electrical. So um, there you go. Got to come back, put a return grill on there. Just cut a little hole in the return grill. I figured it just needed a little one since it was right off that unit. Um, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Share it with one of your buddies. Hopefully I help someone out. Uh, if you all have any questions about the 5 series, just give me a call. You can comment ask it to me i try to answer all my comments the best i can well thanks guys thanks for watching bye